For today's video, we are going to talk about how to find the domain and range of logarithmic functions and we are going to explain everything in details. So let's have an example. On example number 1, y equals log x base 2. So how can we find the domain and range of the given function? To find the domain, let us equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have x greater than 0. And to write our domain in set builder notation, we are going to have domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than 0. And to write our domain in interval notation, we are going to start from 0, but 0 is not included up to positive infinity. So this will be our domain. And to find the range of the given function, always remember the range of logarithmic function is always all real numbers. So to write the range, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our range. On example number 2, y equals log x plus 2 base 2 minus 3. To find the domain of the given function, let us equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have x plus 2 greater than 0. And let us move positive 2 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us x greater than negative 2. And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than negative 2. And to write our domain in interval notation, we are going to have negative 2 up to positive infinity. And this will be our domain. And to find the range of the given function, always remember the range of logarithmic function is the set of all real numbers. So let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be our range. On example number 3, y equals log 2x minus 1 base 3 minus 4. To find the domain of the given function, let us equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have 2x minus 1 greater than 0. And let us move negative 1 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us 2x greater than 1. And let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x is greater than 1 half. And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than 1 half. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from 1 half, but 1 half is not included up to positive infinity. And this will be the domain. And to write the range of the given function, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or to write this one in an interval notation, let us have from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be the range of the given function. On example number 4, y equals log of 5 minus 2x minus 1. To find the domain of the given function, let us simply equate the argument greater than 0. So let us have 5 minus 2x greater than 0. And let us move 5 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us negative 2x greater than negative 5. And... To simplify this one, let us divide both sides by negative 2. 
And since we are dividing same negative number, we are going to change the inequality symbol from greater than to less than. So let us have x less than negative 5 divided by negative 2 and that is x less than 5 over 2. And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is less than 5 over 2. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity because our inequality symbol is less than up to 5 over 2. But 5 over 2 is not included in the solution. And this will be the domain. And to find the range of the given function, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be the range of the given function. On example number 5, y equals log of 4x plus 8 base 1 half plus 1. To find the domain of the given function, let us equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have 4x plus 8 greater than 0. And let us move 8 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us 4x greater than negative 8. And let us divide both sides by 4. Let us cancel this one. So x is greater than negative And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than negative 2. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative 2, but negative 2 is not included, up to positive infinity. And this will be the domain. And to find the range of the given function, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be the range of the given function. On example number 6, y equals log of 2x plus 3 over 4 base 2 third minus 4. To find the domain of the given function, let us simply equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have 2x plus 3 over 4 greater than 0. And let us move 3 over 4 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us 2x greater than negative 3 over 4. And let us divide both sides by 2. Let us cancel this one. So x is greater than negative 3 over 4 times 2 and that is 8. And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is greater than negative 3 over 8. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is negative 3 over 8 up to positive infinity. And this will be the domain of the given function. And to find the range of the given function, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be the range of the given function. On our last example, y equals log of 3 over 5 minus 2x base 1 half minus 7. To find the domain of the given function, let us equate our argument greater than 0. So let us have 3 over 5 minus 2x greater than 0. So let us move 3 over 5 on the other side of the inequality. It will give us negative 2x greater than negative 3 over 5. And let us divide both sides by negative 2. And since we are dividing same negative number, we are going to change the inequality symbol from greater than to less than. So let us have 
x less than negative 3 over 5 times negative 2 that is negative 10. And to simplify, let us have x less than 3 over 10. And to write the domain in set builder notation, let us have domain is the set of x values such that x is less than 3 over 10. Or to write this one in interval notation, we are going to start from negative infinity because our inequality symbol is less than up to 3 over 10. But 3 over 10 is not included in the solution. And this will be the domain of the given function. And to find the range of the given function, let us have range is the set of y values such that y is the set of all real numbers. Or we can write this one in interval notation that is from negative infinity up to positive infinity. And this will be the range of the given function. So I hope you've learned from this video. Thank you so much for watching and God bless us all.